welcome back to the channel everybody happy friday today we have the top two custards vanilla custards in my opinion <clears throat> this week we've done a lot of you know it's been all vanilla slash just regular custards we're not getting into the flavored ones and there's plenty of great ones out there we're not getting into all that we're just doing your basic custard bases basically you know, basic custards and today we have number two. And this one has a little bit of a hack to it. FA Custard Premium. Which if you go over to Chef's, you can get a big bottle. And it's called Flavor Creative Custard Premium. And it's the same exact thing for a lot less money. And number one. And there's going to be some people saying that, Frank, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You suck. Custard Premium is best custard ever out there. But in the U.S., you can't get that flavor. You have to order that from chefs or from no, no, you know, overseas. You have to get it from Europe. So the number one American custard is Vanilla Custard 2 from TFA. Because let's face it, this is a 60 mil bottle. It's like four bucks over at Bull City Flavors. Dirt cheap. And it's rich and it's creamy and it's buttery. It's almost a pudding. You can use it any way you want. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what some other mixers have to say about these two awesome custards that everybody should have. Or at least, well, I can understand what custard premium. You know, you don't want to order from overseas. Not, not that there's anything wrong with chefs, and chefs has great shipping to the U.S. But if you don't want to deal with all that, I absolutely understand. So let's see what some other, some of these other great mixers have to say about these flavors. Show you some recipes, flavor pairings, and then I'll let you get started on your weekend. Let's go. All right, first we're going to start off with custard premium. So mornings contains acetone, 20, 000, less than 20,000 parts per million. Contains diacetyl and other dyke tones. Dyke tones are yummy. I don't care what anybody says. Commonly paired with <clears throat> sweetener, innerware custard, innerware biscuit, cat V1, TFA Bavarian cream, cat vanilla custard, meringue, cheesecake graham crust, liquid barn vanilla ice cream, and FA cookie. 1,123 public and 22,000 private mixes. And the top one is Luke Loops. Yellow Matter Custard we talked about earlier. If you didn't see the other one, you can see where it's paired with Inaware Custard 3 and 2. 3 is a good spot for this one. Uh, holiday pie from Gotcha Tay, same thing. We talked about this one earlier in week two. Two and a half and two. These two custards go together very, very well. Flaky Filth Fest from LV Barino uses custard premium at 1.4 with some custard. He basically uses it here to help smooth things up. Some flan, frosting, pie crust, vanilla pudding, and crispy wafer in there. Uh, Nick Brosia Custard from Nevins, 1.35 with 6.5 Mullenberry Legendary Custard. Some Devon Cream, Sugar Cookie, and Sweetener. I have mixed this one. This one is very good. Uh, Legendary Custard is an amazing flavor, but it's more of a pudding. Sherlock Holmes, Pudding in the Butterscotch. Use it for New York Cheesecake, Ripple at 8, and Flavor Bar Scotch at 2. Oh, he made a liter of that son of a bitch. Messed up. <clears throat> I've mixed this one as well. This is a very good, very good butterscotch pudding. Uh, I used to really enjoy Ripple standalone at 10. Even though it was a little flat, so he decided to use some other things to boost it up. And that's what he did here. Uh, here's one apple pie custard. It uses apple filling and apple pie. 
and custard premium basically and then add some sweetener it's three two and one point seven five yeah, everyone's using it three percent I've seen some fours uh Nick bean bindings five star custard I've mixed this many many times three day steep is really better out after about five but it's good good at three uh use it four Devon cream meringue shisha vanilla and liquid barn ice cream so there's a buttery rich custard here decadent vanilla custard using five ingredients that are stars in their own and must have in your mixing arsenal i do not disagree and he uses liquid barn vanilla ice cream to pair with the custard premium the shisha vanilla rounds things out adds a little bit more vanilla Devon cream is the cupcake world Devon cream is different than the VTA Devon cream. This one doesn't have the chocolate notes, just nice, thick, heavy cream that they have over in the, in the UK. Uh, let's see, Michelle Hughes eggnog custard use it 2.4 with 2% custard in a wear custard. You see, you see the trend here, guys. It, it play, it, you see it paired up a lot with uh, in a custard mix two formerly the chicken dinner okay uses hokey pokey ice cream custard cream 1.5 and stars and the legendary custard at 4.5 he loves nick loves pairing those two together i don't have the hokey pokey so i can't turn myself around because you know that's what it's all about and he gives the vanilla custard there from capella too so this is like a trinity of custards and use liquid barn ice cream there's a lot of custard stuff going on there this is yeah this is a heavy one yeah it's a steeper but it's heavy and let's look at julia sue real quick before we hop on over to our next custard you go nuts or go soho this is a dark one here she uses it just a one percent Use the Soho and the RY4 doubles, her main flavors in this thing. She's the nut mix, hazelnut. So it's a nutty cookie, nutty RY4 cookies in there just to give it a little bit more. A little bit more something there. I'm guessing some mouthfeel. And Honeycomb Custom Reborn, already seen some action. Here uses uh, Legendary at three and a quarter. Premium at two and a quarter, honeycomb, creme brulee, cotton candy from Flavor, bread pudding. This is one that I still need to mix and rate myself. This may end up being better than his first one. What does he have? Nope, he doesn't have it there, but it looks, yeah, it looks good. <clears throat> all right. This is my favorite out of all the custards. This is the one I reached for. Probably more than any vanilla custard too from TFA. Contains acetone and acetylpropanol. Oh well, get over it. Median three percent in mix. Single single flavor at three as well. It's a newer flavor. You see it pairs. You know, top pairing right here is from custard premium. You got a cookie. You got sugar cookie. You got Bavarian cream. Vanilla pudding from Flavora, Innerware Custard, Vanilla Custard Capella, Cheesecake Graham Crust, and Biscuit. Top flavors. Let's see. We see it being used just today. Slushy uses it in a white chocolate custard. Uses it at 3% with Kevin Nevada Vanilla Pudding, white chocolate. The Milky Cream from Wonder Flavors. And and Michelle Hughes is telling everybody, do not vape this. As French vanilla thick, marshmallow gooey, vanilla custard 2 at 2%, vanilla pudding at 1.4, some sweetener, flavor cookie. And she breaks down and says, don't vape this unless you're ready to have your mind blown by a recipe so simple that the deliciousness of it will shock you to your core. That's pretty bold. Pretty bold statement there, Michelle. 
The confidence is sexy. Highest rated on this one has had 500 public recipes. And it has 7,271 private recipes. Cali Nut Custards, number one. Has Caterpillar Chow, Custard Premium, Lucky Leprechaun, Toasted Almond, and the Vanilla Custard at two. Uh, let's see, Rugly, Baked Custard All Day. This is from last August. Bavarian Cream, F.A., Marshmallow, Vanilla Cookie, and 5% Vanilla Custard 2. A little on the higher end of the spectrum. Uh, 10 Loop, Fruit Loops 2014 recipe by Wayne Walker that he redid. Banana bread, brown sugar, dairy milk, frosted donut, fruit circles, key lime pie, rice crunchies, super sweet, vanilla custard 2 at 2.5, and some flavor west yogurt. I like pairing it with flavor west yogurt in a lot of cases. <clears throat> Let's see, Michelle has top rated mix here. Peanut butter pudding. Use the graham cracker clear. Use the DX peanut butter at 3. Use the custard at 2. Low toast of marshmallows with whipped cream. Always has some nice artwork. And that was part of one of the you know, one of the developed assessments they did. TF, uh, the TFA challenge. Okay. Here's our quick custard 2. Uh, she used it at 3 with vanilla pudding 1.5, 1.4. Some sweetener and some sugar cookie. I just saw Juice Fairy has one here. Nilla Vanilla. F.A. Almond. F.A. Meringue. Jamaican Rum. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. Yellow Cake V1 at 5. Uh, Vienna Cream at 3. Vanilla Custard 2 at 4. Okay, she must have did something. Okay, yeah, she updated it with Vanilla Custard 2. Because well, I was about to say, I saw 2017. Now, there's no way this mix was 2017. But she updated it in April of 2020. Uses it in place of Vanilla Custard because it is sweeter and better. The original used TFA Vanilla Custard, which TFA Vanilla Custard's a little thin in my opinion. Not a whole lot going on. Let's see, Piffa has Evolution. Uses it at 2%. Some vanilla pudding, sugar cookie, frosting, cookie butter, cookie, a lot of cookies going on there. Let's see, we'll just bounce down here. Here I have Ran Out of Lucky Shot. This is the TPA Challenge over there on Developed. I used it at 3%. Whipped cream at 2 Graham Crack Clear at 2 Some Ethyl Maltol. Graham Crust Cheesecake. Caramel original Bavarian cream, 15% mix. Yeah, I did run out of Lucky Shot, so I decided to come up with something on my own. I mean, some people seem to like it. Oh, uh, let's see, Vaping Trucker. Oh, man. Here he did Soul Shine. Mixers Helping Mixers. You see right here, Mixers Helping Mike. This was going to be all about here on May 7th. Click that GoFundMe, guys. Please. There's a link in the description. Aged bourbon cream from Real Flavors at 1. Caramel biscuit SSA 0.75. Philadelphia butter cake at 2. And vanilla custard three and a half. So, guys, you see, this flavor gets a lot of love. It's had a lot of action. It's only less than two years old as I dropped the bottle. Good thing I have another one, another 60 mil bottle in, in the drawer there. But that's it. That is TFA Vanilla Custard 2. Right now is my favorite vanilla custard. Nothing against custard premium, nothing against any other custards. That one right now, to me, is just the best one. Got a fuzzball on it. Alrighty, gang. Grab yourself some custards. Hope you enjoyed this week's videos. Like, share, subscribe. And more importantly, click the link in the description. 
donate to the GoFundMe for Vape and Trucker. He needs our help. A great guy. We love him dearly. Just want to do everything we can for him. All right, gang. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. Enjoy your weekend, everybody. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow night. If not, we'll see you on these next videos. Bye, everybody.